Hello dear viewers. Today I will tell you about the life and leadership of Sultan Kalibi Mehmed, one of the important rulers of the Ottoman Empire. Sultan Kalibi Mehmed was born in Eden. In 1389, his father was Yildirim Bayezid and his mother was Devlet Hatton from German Oculaire. He was of medium height, round face, white skin, red cheeks and broad chest. He had a strong body. He was very active and brave. He wrestled and could even pull very strong bow strings. The struggles for the throne in the period, called the Fetra period, increased with Timur's unwillingness to leave a strong state in Anatolia and the intrigues of Byzantium, Suleiman Kalibi in Eden, Isa Kalibi in Bursa, Mehmed Kalibi in Amasya, and Musa Kalibi in Balakesa declared their sultanate. Mehmed Kalibi and Musa Kalibi agreed between them and eliminated Isa Kalibi, who was the governor of Bursa. Mehmed Kalibi knew that Suleiman Kalibi should also be eliminated. For this purpose, he sent Musa Kalibi to Eden against Suleiman Kalibi. Musa Kalibi defeated his brother Suleiman Kalibi and captured Eden. However, he broke his promise to Mehmed Kalibi and declared himself Sultan in Eden. In 1413, Mehmed Kalibi who finally eliminated Musa Kalibi, put an end to the Fatra period. Kalibi Mehmed, who personally participated in 24 wars during his sultanate, received nearly 40 wounds in these wars. He looked very beautiful with the turban he wore on his head and his gold embroidered turban. He wore a kaftan with fur inside and a high collar. Sultan Kalibi Mehmed showed the justice he had shown towards Muslims, also towards Christian communities. He was a good administrator and politician. He completed his education in Bursa Palace. Afterwards, he was appointed as the Sanjak Bey of Amasya by his father and learnt the state affairs. During this period, Sultan Kalibi Mehmed, who succeeded in reuniting the principalities in Anatolia after the period of conquest, can also be regarded as the second founder of the Ottoman Empire. Sultan Kalibi Mehmed died in Eden. On the 26th of May 1421, the news of his death was hidden. He was the first Sultan among the Ottoman Sultans whose death was hidden. His funeral was taken to Bursa was brought and buried in the green tomb. Sultan Murad II will be the subject of our next video. Thank you for watching us.